So I've been teaching women how to invest for about four years now. And, and my message to them is one, you know, because of the wage gap and wealth gap women face, investing is a really important piece because it can actually help close that gap. We, we talk about the power of compounding. Um, the second message is you don't need a PhD to do this. It's not that complicated. Do you agree? I mean, what are your thoughts? So I think that one of the main differences between women and men is their risk tolerance um, and their, what they think that um, what they think that they know. Uh, a lot of women feel they don't they don't know enough, and so their risk tolerance is actually lower. Uh, but studies have shown that women are actually very good investors, and that's probably because they're more afraid of risk, and so they're a lot more conservative and they're a lot more um, they study things more before they make decisions and they do things. So it's kind of a two-way thing. One is they don't invest because they're afraid of risk, but once they embrace it, they're better investors because they're more mindful of the risk. So investing is really important. It's your savings. Um, it's not to be uh, ignored. And if you feel you can't do it yourself, then certainly connect with somebody that can advise you and help you on that path. Yeah. Um, the risk thing is an interesting one, right? It's... Um... Because I always say, like, there are rules around investing. If you diversify, um, you, it's, it's really about managing risk. That's correct. That's exactly right. Um, and there is different buckets of risk. So depending on the size of your portfolio, mm. if you have a, a larger, if you've saved for a while now, which you should have, and have a little nest egg, and are able to now split up your portfolio, you can have separate risk buckets. So you can tell yourself, not 100% of my portfolio lives in the same risk bucket. I could have a 20% um, weight of my portfolio that is slightly higher risk than another 20%. Say you can have a half of your portfolio in some kind of low risk anchor portfolio, anchor risk, low risk, makes you feel comfortable, confident. And then the rest of the diversification has different risk buckets. Certainly again, this is something to think about and if you need help with something like this, if you don't want to do it yourself, you should certainly seek out advice, that's for sure. Because Dan these are things that you do daily, all the time, all yeah. day long. And so to us, portfolio managers, it's a natural, it's a, it's a second nature. Yeah. Um, and Diana, long. one of the things um, I, I, I also hear is that, um, well, cash is much safer, you know, and, and in fact, women keep about 70% of their portfolio in cash and think that that's not risky. Okay, cash is, cash is perceived as safer because it, it sits there and the number is exactly the same every day, all day long, but you're risking the, um, the, the, the power of your money declines as inflation um, uh, mm -hmm. increases in the economy. So inflation is something that may be, uh, may be um, foreign, or, or, or you don't feel it, you can't calculate it, but uh, your money loses value by the amount of the inflation in the economy. And that is your cash losing value. Every time inflation goes up 1%, your cash loses 1%. Exactly, and we're certainly feeling, feeling the effects of inflation right now. Um, Diana, we only have about 45 seconds to commercial break. The other uh, pushback, I guess, or excuse I, I hear is, I don't have a lot of time to yeah. invest. Okay, so you don't, you don't have a lot of time, you have to put it on an autopilot or get help, but put it on an autopilot so that you can save monthly, put it somewhere. There's so many different ways that you can do this. Right, because you can use, say, mutual funds or ETFs and you can dollar cost average, right? I know we used to call yeah. it the, a pack plan. I don't know what it's called now, but these monthly contributions. You we, we say you have to pay yourself as well. You pay your bills you pay your gas, you pay your mortgage, and you have to pay yourself too. So you have to put your some some amount aside for yourself on a monthly basis. Okay, we're, uh, we're gonna take a quick commercial break and when we come back, I wanna get your ex, uh, thoughts on your experience and, and what women come to you for advice for. We'll be right back. <laughs> 